the first ever Quad City Food Forest. That's an area where all plants and trees are edible with different types of nuts and berries. And as Alice Kang explains, the goal is to provide healthy food options and to educate folks about our local ecosystem. Alice. Kylan, more than 100 community volunteers were out planting 80 trees in the Black Hawk Garden Community Food Forest in Davenport. City leaders are hoping this will grow within our community and promote healthy eating for years to come. It's probably one of the more significant and long-lasting things that the city fathers are going to do. These trees, some of them will last for hundreds of years. In addition, they'll provide food in time of emergency. Digging and digging, planting everything from pecans to chestnuts and much more. In five years, nuts and berries will be popping up, providing free food for the public. And it doesn't stop there. Organizers hope that this forest will be the first of many in the Quad Cities. What we want is for people to collect uh, seeds and take this home and grow this at their home. So we want it to spread everywhere and this is going to be the example to the community. It's an ancient practice around the world and it's sustainability. I mean, you know, if, if we're going to do what's right for our planet, we need to, uh, to do it. And he says it's going to help educate the public about fruits and trees native to our area while teaching the next generation about their food system and where their food comes from. And volunteers like the Silva family agree. For them, this isn't the first time their family has helped build an edible food forest. It's something that we did in our community in Mexico as well, so we are excited to see this here too, and most important to see that we are planting the trees with some food for the future. Planning ahead for the future while creating a place for the community to grow and build a food system for everyone to enjoy. Best time to grow a tree was 20 years ago, but the best time now to start is today. So what we start here today will take you know, a number of years before the actual fruit and start bearing fruit. So that's why we want to start. It should have been done years ago. If you would like more information on how you can help the Quad Cities Food Forest, just head to our website, rquadcities.com. Alice Kang, CBS 4 News at 10.